he's a part of the greatest generation and served overseas in the U.S. Army during World War II. Decades and decades later, he's still serving others in a different way. I met him for this week's Mission Service. This is Mission Service, sponsored by Barry Law. Many people mistake him for a 65, 75, somewhere in that neighborhood. When I tell them he's, he's a centurion, they say, no. That's right. This swing belongs to 100-year-old Robert Walls. He's ageless, isn't he? <laughs> he is ageless. You can find him at the Steve Hogan Golf Course at Miller Park seven days a week. I spend more time here than I do at home. First, as a volunteer. Every morning, 10 o'clock sharp, he's here with his shovel and his sand and his cart. And he makes sure all the divots are filled. I've got all the divots filled on this one. This year, we've tasked him into re replenishing our greens. See, there's some new grass coming. Most people at 60 and 70 are in where? Wheelchairs, carrying a cane. This man carrying branches off a golf course. Second, as a player. The guy is amazing and still hit the ball straight. I have shot 31 once this year. And I had seven out of the nine holes were pars. And the other two stunk. I had no double bogeys. <laughs> it took me five years, and it happened two years ago. I actually beat Mr. Wallace playing golf, and I had to have a hole in one to do that. No said, <laughs> said about Mr. Wallace. Mr. Walls has three holes in one himself. And he didn't even start playing golf until 1996. Oh, I got robbed. He was 74 years old and learned he was allergic to cigarette smoke. The 200 average bowler had to find a new hobby. He was asked to come walk the course with a group of friends while they played. I went and bought me a set of Spalding golf clubs and got hooked the first day. He began volunteering at the course because of his good friend, Steve Hogan. Hogan, who the course is now named after and who was Nebraska's first black PGA professional, passed away in 2008. Walls was inspired by the youth program Hogan started, called Hogan's Heroes. A similar program continues at the course today, and Walls makes sure it's in good hands with the annual Bob Walls Invitational. I started the tournament to raise money for our kitty program that we have here on Saturday where kids learn to play golf free. The fifth annual tournament saw dozens of people play through the rain just a few weeks ago. Walls didn't win, and trust me, he's competitive. One of those days. But never to the point where he's not enjoying himself. Golf is a game, and when you play games, you're supposed to have fun. And people that get all shook up and stuck because they have a bad day or a bad shot. That's not my bag. I had to ask, what's the secret? Good genes and stay active. I watch very little television. I've got to be doing something all the time. 100 years of life. Not hard enough. And no signs of slowing down. Mr. Walls is a gym, not only for the Steve Oak Golf Course, but for the entire community, no doubt about it. What makes this place so special? Why are you here every day? Because of Steve Hogan, the way I was treated, and where this is where I started. And for some reason or other, I just love this place. I go out of my way to see to it that it looks nice. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. amazing. Yeah, him and Mr. Rice both. I mean, the whole crew down there, uh, just awesome. So I encourage everybody to go down there. If you got a kid, uh, take them to the Saturday, the kid yeah. program, 9 to 1030 on Saturday mornings. But outside of summer, Walls lives in North Carolina and Florida with family. He returns to Omaha to live with his daughter during golf season. Okay. Rice says regular golfers notice his absence, but... Can tell right away when he returns based on the condition of those tee boxes. He keeps it up, doesn't he? he does great work. Just <laughs> awesome. I love it. There's a personal topic you think we should cover for mission service. Tell us. 